Ransomware removal starts with entering safe mode. To do that, click on start button and type msconfig. Find the boot tab and select the safe boot checkmark. After making sure that minimal is selected, press OK. And then press restart. After restarting the PC, you will notice safe mode written on all four corners of the screen. Now, we need to make sure that all the files and folders are visible. To do that, open control panel from the start menu. From the opened window, find and click on the file explorer options. Then, click on the view tab, find hidden files and folders option, and make sure that show hidden files folders and drives is selected. Click apply and OK. Now, you can close the control panel. And now, we want to make sure that there aren't any IPs added to the host's file. To do that, open my computer, go to the local disk C, navigate to Windows, System32, Drivers, and find etc. folder. Here, you will find the host's file, which you need to open with the notepad. Look for the bottom of the file, and remove any suspicious IP addresses from here and down. Don't forget to save the file. And we're done. Make sure that you check the description below this video. We have a full removal guide written with all the steps detailed. This next part is going to be more complex. If you don't feel comfortable editing Windows registry files, we recommend using automated ransomware removal tools, which you will find in the article linked on the description of this video. If you want to continue, open registry editor by typing regedit on the start search field. Then click on H key underscore local underscore machine, software, Microsoft. Find Windows, click on current version. Then click on run. You will need to delete anything that might be connected to the ransomware. Beware, removing wrong files might break your PC. Just check out for anything that has been added recently. You can search the registry by clicking edit, find, and typing percent temp percent. You should delete everything that you find in the temp directory. Once you're done, open the system configuration again by typing msconfig in the search bar, go to the boot tab and uncheck the safe boot checkmark. Now you can click OK and restart. We have a detailed removal guide written, the link is in the description of this video. If you have any questions, feel free to comment there. Thank you for watching, please share this video and subscribe if you want to see more.